Hey guys, so what happens if you manage to break a new growth on a Cattleya orchid and most other sympodials such as Oncidiums and Dendrobiums and others? Well, in my experience, there are two main scenarios and a few plot twists in between. So scenario number one, you manage to break the new growth somewhere in the middle and not at the base. And this is exactly what happened to my orchid. I potted it and since the pot is super light, it's just moss, it leaned over and threatened to fall. And I caught it, but I caught it like this. So. I broke the new growth from here. Can you see? This is where it bends. But it is midway, it is not the base. The base of the new growth is absolutely fine. So what it can do, it can start to create another new growth from the immature growth. If you can see, this is exactly what mine decided to do. So as long as the base that has the dormant eyes is viable, it's not damaged, even a damaged new growth immature new growth can create another new growth. Now, in the case that you manage to break the rhizome of the new growth, so you break it or damage it from here, it actually might not do what this orchid did. It can actually create a new growth from the older mother pseudobulb. So again, in my case, we can see that the mother pseudobulb has another eye, which is kind of plump here. This one was ready to go, but since the base of this one was okay, this one did not develop. But if the base, this area would have been damaged, I suspect this eye would have woken up and it would have started to grow. In both cases, what you should do is just wait it out. Do not do anything, do not cut anything. Even if you suspect you damage the connection, the rhizome or the base of the new growth, do not do anything because you don't know exactly what the case is. And even if you think you destroyed everything, maybe you actually didn't. In a few weeks, you will have your answer. If your orchid starts to do what mine did, just let it be. This growth in time will probably dry out. When it's completely dry, you can remove the dried bits, probably these sheets, and just tidy up the plant. But do not cut, obviously, the base of the growth, this thing right here. That is still viable, still very important, and it will create new growth. If your orchid decides to completely dry out all of this growth, including the rhizome, after a new growth sprouts from the mother cane, you can simply cut this dried already, let's presume, new growth right here at the connection, at the rhizome. If you don't know what you're doing, don't cut anything, but if you know and you're fairly confident and you just want to make your kid look pretty, yeah, you can absolutely cut it from right here and just let the new growth from the other side develop. Now, the plot twists in between. You can have a growth from the broken new growth develop at the same time with a growth from the mother cane. So practically from this side, that can absolutely happen. Or even if you didn't completely break this growth from the base, so pretty much like in my case, midway, your orchid might decide not to create a new growth from here, from the new growth, but from the mother pseudobulb. Also, new growth can start to grow from the older canes as well. Now these plot twists, as I call them, are just a little bit more rare. Most of the times you will have one of the two scenarios, either new growth from the new growth that is broken, either new growth from the mother cane. But don't be surprised if your orchid surprises you because orchids are full of surprises as we know. Bottom line, don't do anything until you're certain what your orchid wants to do. And even then, if something is green, don't remove it. Let it be until it completely dries. When tissue is dry and dead, then you can remove it, no problem there. You can tidy up your orchid, but until it is dried, better not open a gate for pathogens because that can end badly. Alrighty, so that's about it. Hope this was useful and I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.